Hello everyone. Uh, one of the great ways to start implementation of Study Sync is to utilize the Sync Start unit. So you can find that um, in your Study Sync main menu under core ELA ELD and then this button right there. You can see the overview of what it's like and then here is the instructional path. So in this instructional path is where you can assign the blasts. Um, if you reviewed the Picto chart that I sent out, it shows you how you can use the blasts in a one-to-one -one device, school, limited devices, or no devices at all. Um, but what this video is going to focus on is how to assign the specific skills within Study Seek because these are going to be skills that are used throughout the year, throughout many lessons, and they're important skills for you and your students to know how to do. So the first thing you're going to need to do is assign the skill that you'd like. If you want to check it out first, you can use the student preview and see what it is your students are going to see. So you'll see they'll have this study sync video that will define what the skill is. Um, there's also a reading that you can read aloud with the class or you can have them read individually. But then the next step is going to be to model. So this is where students are able to apply what they've learned and you can walk through with them. They can make their annotations here. And then finally, the third thing that they're going to do is actually put it into action and they would annotate and demonstrate their knowledge and use of the skill that they just learned about. And then down at the bottom is where your students would submit the assignment. So we can review a little bit more of that in, later on. What I'm going to show you right now is just how to simply assign it. So go ahead and click the assign button down below the skill that you'd like to focus on. For this demonstration, I'm going to use annotation. And it's going to take you to the create assignment page. It'll give you a summary of what your assignment is. So we know it's a skill, we know it's annotation. And then this is where you're going to select your target class. Now, if you watched the previous videos on how to group and subgroup your classes, this is where you would select which groups are going to get what assignment and what differentiation, um, maybe some extra access handouts. Um, but for this, I'm just going to use my period three. You can select your start date. It's uh, What's great about StudySync is you can do it in advance. So if you're gonna be out and you're just trying to prep you can do it in advance and then that will allow the students to do to access it only on that date and then your end date and you can choose whether or not to allow late assignments. Uh, one of the great things is that um, you can go through the differentiation by adding these access handouts. So you might choose a specific group that would utilize access handout three. I would preview the access handouts before you assign them. And if you want any more customization, like you want to leave them specific instructions, you can leave that for them. If you want to have your own writing prompt, you can also enable that as well. Um, and then this is where you can leave your own comments for the students. Uh, you can allow peers to review. That's up to you. Um, the, uh, the availability is there. So once you've, you're done and you have all the specifications that meet your needs, you're going to go ahead and create the assignment. And then you can either return to the unit or you can go to your assignment list just to check and make sure that everything is the way that you want. So I can review here that when I created it, what my assignment is, what the type is, and then what my target period was, when it's going to be available, and when it will end. Okay, so that is how you could utilize the skills in the Sync Start unit. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to email or call me. Thank you.